Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to share this book with you. And God does work in mysterious ways. And I also want to share a link um, to a very new Christian friend of mine. Her name's Dominique, her channel. She had experienced the Shekinah glory today. Praise Jesus. Glory be to God always, always, always. So you, we know that God is a supernatural being. Um, and he works in mysterious ways. He works through signs and wonders. We are not to seek the sign or the wonder, but we seek the giver of the sign and the wonder, which is Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. Amen. So I just wanted to share her link because she's a brand new Christian. She has been seeking um, Jesus very strongly, and I'm so proud of her. Um, I hope that you can encourage her also, but I wanted to share. I had laid this book down probably almost a year ago. I hadn't finished it, and I was watching Sid Roth Supernatural last night, trying to rest, and Anna Warner was on last night on an older series that I had looked up, and um, she came out with a new book. Um, but this book, I turned to this page about carpet time, and she's explaining she, how she had a visitation with Jesus in heaven, and Jesus had taken her to this royal carpet. And the Lord had told her it was for encounters. And Holy Spirit um, basically put upon her heart that it's about seeking Him. And then it, the Lord had put upon my heart, you know, about seeking um, Jesus, um, seeking God, because he is the giver of the gifts. We always seek God. We should never seek other humans. We should seek the one and only true Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But um, she's saying here that the carpet was for encounters, and I wanted to share this with you. Um, she stretched down on the carpet and she just felt his presence with her. And um, she heard him say, stay close to me, Anna, invest time with me, be still and seek. And he, again, he said, be still and seek. Fruit comes from adoration. And he gave her the scripture, Proverbs 8, 17 to 21. I love those who love me, and those who diligently seek me will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better, better than gold, even pure gold, and my yield better, better than choicest silver. I walk in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the path of justice, to endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries." And she says, don't get discouraged today. If you're reading this, you're thinking. But on, I've never uh, seen a royal carpet like that. And she says, carpet time is a great metaphor for us and reminder to seek him and spend time with him, with Jesus. It's not enough just to seek him for the glory encounters, but to maintain glory and then impart it to others. We have to stay intimate with the one from whom the glory comes. And the more we cry out for him, the more we seek him, the more we find him. And um, one of my all-time favorite scriptures, Jeremiah 29, 11, um, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Um, but I was going to specifically point out 13, which says, And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you, says the Lord. And he had um, prompted me because um, I share the Shekinah glory because it's an experience that I've had many times. And many of my subscribers, I think 26 or 29 of my subscribers, have experienced it now. And even Dominique said she asked 
the Holy Spirit if she could experience it. And it's not testing God. God, you know, Jesus loves to bless his children. Um, but always seek the giver of the gift, which is God himself. And um, I hope this blesses you. I, I feel like the Holy Spirit was prompting me with that um, because I had just clicked on her video of her Shekinah glory. And um, someone had asked me, is the Shekinah biblical? And yes, I have put in many of my videos sharing it, the Bible study pertaining to the Shekinah glory, actually. And you can look it up. It's all many times in the Old Testament, Shekinah was, um, um, you know, as a cloud, the glory of God. And then I, as I was reading the Watchman scripture from the book of Ezekiel chapter three, I happened to look over in, I, in Ezekiel one, it says in 28, like the appearance of a rainbow in a cloud on a rainy day. So was the appearance of the brightness all around it. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And you, um, if you go to the old Testament, when the Israelites would follow the cloud, um, that was the glory of God. Um, when um, Jesus or when Moses' face sh um, shined, that was the glory of God. You can um, also fire, um, but I can add the link. It's just amazing how the Holy Spirit moves and works. And it was really cool how he had led me back to this book that I hadn't. Uh, read in quite a while, um, and she's a seer. Um, she's a Christian. She's she uh, she gets visions, and she's a seer into the spiritual realm. And that's why I believe that we are not supposed to be divided, because God doesn't give everyone the same gifts. We're supposed to work together, brothers and sisters. We're supposed to love each other, encourage each other, edify each other, also warn each other. Um, but also use our gifts, our Holy Spirit filled gifts, um, to build up the kingdom of God. God bless you. I love you all in Christ. Amen.